All right. I had to take the time out to make this video because I'm, I'm, I'm noticing and forgive me for being scrunchy. I ain't go to the barbershop yet. It is what it is, man. Behind every successful black YouTuber or black leader. It's like there's an assign. Somebody is assigned. Black. To tear us down. I remember the days of 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 of, of back in the 60s. When our brothers and sisters was hanged by the real enemy. And now all you see is our own kind behind every successful black man. There's another black man trying to rip him to shreds. Now let's get into this Monty, Monty and, and, and Umar Johnson, right? So Umar went out and he actually purchased the school. Congratulations to that man for actually keeping his word and going to get a school. He did it. Nevertheless, no matter what all of us had to say about him, he went and he got the school, right? Spent $400,000 on the school. So that means even if the school is, is, is not in, in good condition, he didn't spend $400,000 on a school not to build that school up. So shout out to Umar Johnson for doing more than what these million and billionaire celebrities is doing. So now with that being said, because if I could sit up there and I could disrespect one of my brothers, I could big them up when they do something right. Salute to Umar Johnson for going to get that school, spending 400 grand on that school. And even though people are making videos talking about, oh, it ain't got no electricity, it ain't got no this, it ain't got, you got to start from somewhere. Some of y'all dudes out there ain't never had a fight in your life. You ain't never had a fight. But you telling somebody how to fight, they fight when all you doing is sitting behind the computer. How dare you? Who assigns you? Who sent you? So Umar got to school and I watched a video with Umar that he made every event that he's planning so he can build up and get more money to move forward in his movement. You got a Monty, a Monty Mongoloid wood grain sitting up there. And trying to tear this man down in his movement. These people are allegedly making phone calls. Trying to get his events canceled. Why is that? For one. I mean on some. Uh, and keeping it all the way funky. Right? Because I got to keep it funky. Umar. Is very very deep. He has knowledge that we need. When it comes to the board of education. He is a master at that when it comes to dealing with our children in the Board of Education. Shout out to Umar for that. His teachings is needed when it comes to the Board of Education. I cannot find absolutely not one reason, not one reason that the black community needs you for anything. Monty, son of a cop, son of a pig, oopsie daisy. It is what it is, man. You attached yourself to him and others and you suck and suck and suck the life out of people like an energy vampire. And what you're doing is not comedy. It's dangerous and it's destructive. You are leeching yourself on the other black people's career and success and you're leeching and trying to climb to the top. You've been on YouTube for over 10 years. I'm sorry if your YouTube career haven't went successful, but that does not give you the right to tear down brothers that's trying to build up their empires, man. You are worse than the KKK. They lay back in the cut. They said they don't even have to do their job no more because they use you and your mother to create a movement of bots on YouTube to go try to destroy anybody that tries to do anything to be successful. And this is whack. And any of y'all out there that's supporting this, Umar, your brother, behind every YouTuber, there is somebody behind everybody and behind every person that's climbing to the top and trying to do something in this so-called conscious cyber community. Or in the real world, in the conscious community, Umar's out there going to schools, giving lectures. I've, I've listened to his lectures. The man is deep when it comes to the Board of Education. His knowledge is needed. Do I agree with everything Umar did? No. 
But do y'all agree with everything Hassan Campbell did? No. And it is your answer. Ain't none of us per perfect. He without sin cast the first stone. Monty, why don't you do something productive? Your jokes ain't funny. They slanderous and they're deadly. Comedians make you laugh. You try to cyber bully and hurt people. And only hurt people hurt people. You're not giving life to nothing. I can't find no reason for you to even be walking this earth. Because nothing that you touch, everything that you touch, it turns to shit. Find some way, find some, find a purpose in your life outside of trying to tear every single brother down. Find some purpose in your life. Because destroying another man, well, I ain't going to say Umar look like you. Because I've never seen nothing on this earth that looks like you. Like, really. Leave people alone. Live and let live, man. If you can't build in this world without tearing people down, then what's your purpose? Who sent you?